Now, Sarah, there's one player that Russell Wilson has continuously talked about all throughout this offseason since coming over via trade from the Seattle Seahawks. We've talked about all the wide receivers, the Jerry Judys, Cortland Suttons, Tim Patricks, KJ Hamlers, and we talked about some of the other guys in the mix. But really, Kendall Hinton, once again, continues to be a guy that Russell Wilson just continues to enamor, continues to mention in press conferences. Here's why Russ says that he really, really likes Kendall Hinton. I tell you what, if Russ really likes him, in my opinion, I think he's already got a roster spot locked in. Here's what Russ had to say about Kendall Hinton after day one of mandatory minicamp practices. Well, I think the guys are competing their, their butts off, but I think you know uh, Kendall is doing an amazing job. He, he, he's got a special gift. His gift of getting open, his wiggle, his ability to accelerate and make plays. I remember watching the film. <clears throat> and there was a certain game, um, it was a Cowboys game, and he caught a, a, a little skinny post route and just took took it, you know, uh, just took off, you know, just his ability to get open, his ability to make plays near the red zone, and just how he catches it. He's got that football instincts. I, I remember that play against the Cowboys specifically, and, and I do remember, like, for him, I think it's easy for us to lose sight on the fact that, look, Kendall Hinton is still growing, still developing as a wide receiver because there was a game towards the end of the season against the Los Angeles Chargers. Remember, you and I were talking about who we think is going to break out, and we said Kendall Hinton. He had a little bit of a rough game against the Chargers, kind of closed things out in the season, but for him, he's continuing to evolve, and if called upon in big-time moments, it's not like the Broncos or Russ are asking him to be wide receiver one, but just like what we saw in the Cowboys game, if you really need him to make a big play, you can count on him to do it. And, and like I said, he, he should have scored on that play, but you know, like, I'll take the 44 yards and the Broncos being down at the one yard line going forward. I mean, what are your thoughts on what Russ has had to say about Kendall Hinton? I think exactly what you mentioned, Cody, about him kind of being a lock for this roster. I just really feel it in my bones at this point that if you're making 53 man roster projections, which I've, you know, I've taken an early stab at one a month or two ago. I think if you're not including Kendall Hinton, that's going to end up being a mistake just because I feel like at this point, the writing is sort of on the wall, isn't it? Russell Wilson has talked him up a number of times. The coaching staff has talked him up. Obviously, the Broncos front office really likes him because his presence on this team predates even this front office. And we saw him get his greatest opportunity last year, obviously, with George Payton in as the general manager. So clearly, he's doing a lot of things, not to mention this kind of goes, it kind of flies under the radar a little bit, doesn't it? The fact that the Broncos traded Trinity Benson last year after an incredible training camp and kept Kendall Hinton, that's that speaks volumes because Trinity Benson had a killer offseason yeah. in 2021, and the Broncos obviously really like Hinton. So he brings something different to the table that I think you could really find a spot for him in the rotation. This is much less at this point to me. It's no longer a conversation about, hey, will Kendall Hinton be on the roster? It's more a conversation of how many snaps is he, is he going to be getting on a weekly basis because he does bring something to the table. Jerry Judy is known as our guy that he can get open at a moment's notice. But Kendall Hinton, maybe not to the same degree, he can do a lot of the same things. People forget this guy went from being a quarterback in college to being a dynamic slot receiver at Wake Forest where he had over 1,000 yards his first year on the job as a receiver full-time. So – the talent is there. The yeah. wiggle is there. The ability to get up field is there. I feel like definitely Kendall Hinton has earned a spot in this rotation, and, and he's he's earning the trust of Russell Wilson, who talked about, I mean, they're going to have another San Diego throwing session in mid-July. You can bet Kendall Hinton is going to be there, and he's going to be getting those reps with Russell Wilson because he seems to be one of those guys that from the beginning – He's been doing everything possible to get face time with the new QB, and he's reaping the benefits of it at this point. Hey, Kendall Hinton has the opportunity to have one of the most amazing potential undrafted rookie journeys, you know, in a while, right? And the Broncos have had a history of undrafted gems. And at wide receiver, one of those undrafted gems being Rod Smith. Not saying that Kendall Hinton is going to be Rod Smith. Don't get me, don't confuse me there, Broncos country. But it's like for him, for a guy like Russell Wilson, if his magnitude at the quarterback position to see the value in a guy like Hinton when everybody's focused on Judy, Cortland, Tim, KJ, Alberto, Greg Dulcich, like all these other options, Kendall Hinton is the perfect sleeper wild card for this Denver Broncos football team. And we'll see if he can find a way to make it onto the active roster once again here in 2022. 